Well, check out what all of that cold weather is doing to this fountain in Washington Township. We found this on South Main Street. The fountain is turned on and water is managing to force its way through uh, and freezing, obviously, as it continues to fall down in those temperatures. It looks like they'll stay above zero as we go into the overnight hours tonight, but readings will fall into the single digits in most spots. We'll see mostly clear skies here for the next several hours, 11 degrees at 7 o'clock, 10 at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and then we'll begin to see the clouds thicken up later tonight and early tomorrow morning. We'll start off with mostly cloudy skies, 9 heading to about 18 degrees by lunchtime, and we'll see those highs uh, right around 20. 22 degrees. And we do have a chance for a few spotty snow showers, especially later in the afternoon and evening. Right now, with lots of sunshine out there, it is 12 degrees. We have light westerly winds at 6 miles an hour. But that's creating that wind chill or feels like temperature at 3. And a beautiful sunset here in Preble County in Eaton. You can see lots of sunny skies out there, still seeing that fresh snow cover on the ground. And again, that will allow us our temperatures to fall into the single digits later tonight. Satellite image shows nothing but clear skies here across all of the Miami Valley. We'll expand the view a little bit wider here and show you we have an area of high pressure that is in control. But notice off to the uh, west here, we do have some clouds thickening up here from portions of St. Louis just to the west of Chicago. So that cloud deck will begin to move in here later tonight. But we are still going to be below normal heading into much of the weekend. Still that cold air hanging tough here across uh, much of the northern plains and also stretching into portions of the Miami Valley as well. On live Doppler 2 HD, our network of radar scanning the skies for you, not picking up any snowfall. And as we expand the view a little bit wider, still dry off to the west of us as well. It looks like we will be dry tonight and for much of the day tomorrow, but into the afternoon and evening, that's when we'll see a chance for some snow. And we'll track it for you in our future track forecast model, stopping the clock here at 8. We will see mostly cloudy skies throughout much of the area to start off your Saturday, continue for the afternoon, stopping the clock here at 6. That one will see a chance for a few snow showers to push through the area, and that will trend will continue late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Heading into Sunday afternoon, we see another system pushed through. This will bring us another chance for a few light snow showers, especially Sunday afternoon and evening. It looks like as far as snowfall amounts go, I'll be on the light side. Doesn't look like you'll need to do any back-breaking shoveling here. Maybe a broom or some light shoveling possible. But uh, expecting those amounts anywhere from a half an inch to around an inch at most, maybe two. But Definitely on the lighter side here with this system for the weekend. Seven degrees tonight, partly cloudy skies and cold. And as we take a look at your forecast tomorrow, we'll see those highs near 24. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, we'll hit about 28 degrees on Sunday, again with a few scattered snow showers possible in the morning and then again in the afternoon. Still cold and dry though for Monday with some sunshine, highs near 18 and 22 on Tuesday with mostly sunny skies. Another system moves in here for Thursday. That'll bring us a chance for some rain and or snow showers.